Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to talk about subsurface scattering in Houdini with Redshift latest uh, random walk. Um, so what does random walk do guys? Basically what it is, it allows light to travel through the surface as if it's walking. So basically it's just a really badass way of um, scattering light on the surface of an object. So what do I have here? I've got my camera, basic camera that I just like placed in the scene right here. Let me pull out and let me just double check that I've got, um, if you hit Z on the viewport, um, my Z depth uh, set here um, nicely. So let's just put it something like that. Um, just enable my enable depth of field. Next, I dropped an HDRI. I dropped down an RS dome on my RS dome. I am using just a basic HDRI texture that I've got here. Um, and last, I downloaded this um, this whatever model, just something for our tutorial for the sake of testing, from um, Scan the World, uh, Mini Scan the World Factory, which is a really cool place. We'll post the tutorials. We'll post a link for that website here as well. And let's go ahead and start a material from scratch. And on my out, I'm gonna create a redshift render node. And let's say render view so that we can open it. All right. I hope you guys aren't hearing it, but there's like some really annoying like airplane noise in my background that keeps like airplanes just keep passing by, man. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, on my material, let's do RS standard material. This is the this is the new one. This is different from their RS material. So as you will see, this um, they are different now. And then we're gonna type redshift material so that we can have our output here. All right, so let's call this tester. Come back to our object and we will select that material here and say tester. All right, let's hit render. I'm gonna hit F on the viewport to fo center the focus and, and uh, we've got something like this for starters, right? I wanna have, let me see if I can maybe have a little bit more light in my scene, different HDR. And let me just move it around a little bit, see what we have. All right, so that's working fine. That is my basic HDR. Um, and I'm also gonna add two, two lights onto my scene. Because since we're gonna be playing with with um, subsurface, I, I do want to make sure that we're able to see some nice lights penetrating through our surface. Oh yeah, I want an idiot. I was just looking for the shape. So I want to make him a little bit longer. And then let's tone it down to like two and five and see what that gives us for starters. It might still be a little strong. So guys, remember some, this is important to know. We are playing with subsurface here, therefore the scale of the objects matters. Okay, so obviously it's a little bit strong. Let's 
make that two. Let's make that three. All right, so we've got a decent base for us to get started on. Let's go here on our material now. And the first thing that we're gonna do, I see my computer is a little frozen. All right. All right, we're gonna select the material and on our material, what we're gonna do is enable soft surface. So if you come here to the subsurface, we're just gonna say the weight and set that to one. So immediately you can see that it's super nice. The results that we get off the bat with like, just simply turning the weight of the subsurface up is quite crazy like this results were not that easy to get before the standard material super nice all right so the other thing that we can play with is with the scale and the scale is going to dictate how deep the light penetrates on the object so if we turn this down it's kind of like going to be only on like the top parts of the surface of the object um, if we reduce it even more, it's like it penetrates a very little um, amount. But if we increase it, let me refresh, that means that the light is going to be able to travel deeper into the object. So scale dictates the amount of light, light's depth as it goes inside of the object so you can see that this one like the light goes in like way deeper let's put this like our default like in the middle at a one and let me show you what the color does so when we change the color here um this is going to dictate the overall color like as a whole of the whole thing um let me come to um, to our texture to our call uh, lights and like let's just uh, put down a null and um, I'm just gonna use this to rotate our lights around so let's see let's rotate them here so that they're kind of like rotating around So that we can see kind of like a few different results. Okay, um, so now what I what I want to show you guys is that yes, this soft surface color controls like the overall um, color of the piece but we're gonna make that white and we're gonna play with the radius because what the radius does is that it allows color to penetrate um, but different intensities so for example if we set this to to this blue um, let's play with our scale here The cool thing about the radius is that RGB colors penetrate, like the colors penetrate a different amount. So you can see that here we have blue and here we have that yellow. So it will give you some like pretty interesting, see how I make it more blue outside and more yellow in the, in the inside. So you can play with the color values and it's gonna um, penetrate the light. Um, some colors more than others so this will give you this really creamy type um, wax 
or super nice for working with marble all right guys so that's the basic gist of what the new um surface subsurface random walk will do will allow you to create see how nice this subsurface is without even like adding any type of um bump or displacement or anything all right guys i hope you guys liked it and um i'll be back with more